guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today we are in Beijing and I found this beautiful spot. So I thought, why not make a video for you guys? In today's video, we are going to talk about what kind of scholarships China offers. But before we're getting started, I'm just going to tell you that if you have any need for advice or tips or tricks on coming to China before coming to China or when you are in China, then you can check out my new Skype Me project on my website lanaround.com look for Skype me and then we can talk together and I can help you out with all of your questions below in the description box you can also find links for free downloads for a PPT guide on how to apply for language programs at Chinese universities and you can also find a free download for a checklist if you're coming to China very soon but you're not quite sure if you have remembered to pack all of the things you need to bring then you can download the list and see what is really important for you to bring to China. So without further ado, let's get started on today's video. So guys, what kind of scholarships does China offer? China has a lot of different scholarships and I found them all for you guys. There are seven different kind of scholarships. I'm not going to tell you all the details of every single one of them because there are too many and this video is going to be way too long. So I have a link below where you can check out the information about every single scholarship. The first scholarship is called bilateral. This means that it's a cooperation between the Chinese government and another country, institution, university. You have to apply for this one in your home country. It covers undergraduate and also graduate and doctoral degree. You can basically get a scholarship for every single degree you want to study in China. Number two is Chinese University Scholarship. So this one you can get from the Chinese University you really want to go to. Actually, I helped a guy get a scholarship from my school. So I brought him to my school, to the international office, and then they talked together and they gave him an application form. You can contact the university you want to go to in China, and then you can see if they have any of these scholarships for you, and then you just apply. Option number three is called the Great Wall program so this one only supports senior scholars and general scholars and you can also check out more information about this one below because when I was reading about it I was like hmm I'm not really sure what this one is about but anyways as I said we got information below so in this video I'm just gonna tell you the different kinds of scholarship number four is EU programs so it kind of already describes who can apply for this one uh, European countries, citizens of European countries can apply for this scholarship. Number five is for ASEAN <laughs> uh, members, uh, country uh, members. So that's another kind of scholarship. As I said, they're basically almost all the same, like they cover almost the same, but it's for different nationalities, uh, different countries, different parts of the world. So you should look out for the ones that fits you, of course. Then we have number six, it's called PIF program. So this one sponsors the Pacific Island countries members or nationals and number seven is called WMO which is World Meteorological Organization I don't know what this means but again you should check it out and see if it fits you it's also a scholarship that sponsors partly your studies in China okay so those were the seven kind of scholarships you can get here from the Chinese Government. These seven categories were the government scholarship, but there is also the Confucius scholarship. This is another one you can get that if you're studying at a Confucius Institute in your own country and you apply through there. The Confucius scholarship also has six categories or like six areas where they sponsor. It's basically bachelor's degrees, masters and like teach Chinese as a foreign language and then some other ones as well. But it's uh, basically all all kinds of degrees in China as well so the students at my university half of them are Confucius scholarship students and half of them are government scholarship students I'm government but I also studied at Confucius so I could have applied for that one as well moving on to what does the Chinese scholarships actually cover 
See, this is a great question and it's an amazing answer, I'm telling you guys. So basically, it's free tuition fee. You're gonna stay at university for free. If you are a bachelor's student or master's student, you're gonna have a roomie, so two people in one room. If you're a doctoral degree, PhD, then you will have a room on your own. Furthermore, you will also get a living allowance. If you're a bachelor's student, they're gonna pay you two and a half thousand RMB. If you're a master's student, they're gonna pay you three thousand a month every single month for two years for the bachelors it's four years fully supported by the Chinese government also if you're a PhD they're gonna pay you three and a half thousand every single month for the many years you're studying your degree like what is there not to like about this guys if you feel like your own country is a little too expensive on tuition fee then China is your answer so that was all for today's video I was just going to tell you guys what kind of scholarships you can get for China and what does it cover this is video number one in my little web series on how to apply for Chinese universities how to apply for scholarships how to get to China and study yay remember guys if you have more questions or like personal questions you want to chit chat with me then check out my website lanaround.com and look for the Skype me project I'm sorry for the noise in the back but it's like whenever you want to film outside in China it's just really noisy anyways I hope that this was useful for you as I said I'm gonna put a lot of links down below in the description box so check that out. If you're confused, just leave a comment and I'll reply to all of you guys. Yeah, so thanks for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day or evening wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling is out. See ya and 再见. Bye bye.